My father was in advertising and I was very much into photography. I never really got into painting per se or anything like that. And then it was, I went to the Picasso retrospective here in New York in 1980. And seeing that show combined with a very intelligent uh, photography teacher, a guy named Oscar Bailey. He, what I was doing in the lab was I was taking the objectivity of the camera and I was manipulating. I would take a four by five piece of film and heat it up, burn it, step on it, and manipulate it, change it to something else. And he said to me, he says, you're taking something that's objective, the camera lens, and you should take a drawing class. So in combination of all that kind of stuff, um, And then the Picasso show, of course, was just like, you know, I, it was just, you know, the man was just amazing. <laughs> Everything he touched was art. Like, like, a, like a line in a poem leads to another layer, and that's what hence a lot of the layering that happens in my work is, is just like writing, storytelling. I think another lost art today. I, you know, I think storytelling is really important. Like I said earlier, the music has always been kind of the jumping off point. I remember when I was a, a student reading uh, The Birth of Tragedy by Friedrich Nietzsche and how the blending of music uh, in the visual arts was the purest. And I, I st you know, we all have recall from a song, you know, and I think that's really, I do, I get that. I, I, you know, you can be walking down the street and all of a sudden a tune will pop in your head and it Oh, you know, and I love that. I think that's very important. I get the purity of that. I, I, I th and again, um, even when I was younger, I sometimes certain songs you see, I don't see necessarily always images, but I see movement, swirls, or uh, you know, it's interesting. <laughs>